welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to be taking care of my skin right now my skin looks very dull very dry very lifeless so we're gonna just put some face masks on and just do better first up we have to get our skin cleaned and for that i normally use my shea moisture foaming wash but i'm not gonna do that today i'm gonna be using my black soap I'm also going to be using my spin brush from Devol. They were nice enough to send me this amazing spin brush which comes with four detachable heads. You see at the bottom there are two daily facial cleansing heads. The one on the left is a softer one. The one on the right is for exfoliation. There's also a bigger attachment. That one is for your body and for your knees. Any areas that you want to really get some dead skin cells off. And lastly there is a pumice stone attachment which you can use on your feet or on your elbows. Now y'all, this does retail for $95, but if you use my code FUFUFUNNY70, you will get 70% off of your total price, so it's going to go down from $95 to only $28.50, y'all. This is a steal. Click the link in the description box and get yours today. Alright guys, now I'm going to be using my brush in the black soap. If you see that it's kind of dark, it's because I use black soap, so it's going to be dark. It makes sense. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and spin it on the soap and just massage it into my skin. Y'all, this brush does a great job at really digging into my pores and making sure they're all clean for when I have to apply my moisturizer afterwards. And honestly guys, I have used other spin brushes, but this one is different. As you can see, I'm getting really close to my eye and there is no soap splashing everywhere. This brush is very sturdy and you basically have control over everything while getting a nice clean feel. So that's one of the reasons why I like it. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to be rinsing my face with warm water and now I'm just in my room and I'm going to use a paper towel to pat my face dry. Doing this prevents the forming of acne or any bumps on your face and also you never know whether or not your towel is truly clean so that's why I do it. But next guys, I'm going to do something very weird. Um, I have some boiling water over here and I'm going to steam my face with it. If you want, you can add lavender oil or any essential oils but I'm just going to use it with the pure water because I'm going to put oil in my face later. This is just going to help with opening up my pores and getting it ready for the face masks that we are going to apply. Alright, full fam. For my very first mask, I'm going to be using this baking soda. I'm not going to put too much because it is for my face. Next, I'm going to be using a lemon, cutting that in half and just squeezing half of it into the bowl. And finally, I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar with the mother. And yeah, that'll be it for the first mask. While applying this to my face, I want to really quickly tell you guys the benefits. So, baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and lemon helps reduce wrinkles, fade scars, including acne scars, and it also helps brightening your skin. Now, that is the main reason why I'm using it because I have some dark spots on my face. Also, the gritty texture of the baking soda helps with exfoliation as well. So, before I used the soft head of the brush, remember that, and now I'm just going to use the baking soda because that's really going to exfoliate my skin and get it very smooth and even. I'm also going to get in the corners around my nose because most people tend to forget that area. And guys, apple cider vinegar specifically helps with getting rid of bumps on the skin. Thank you. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but my face is visibly brighter after that mask. Alright guys, for my next mask, I'm going to be using aloe vera and also I'm going to be using honey. This is just going to add some moisture back into my face because don't forget, I did use the baking soda which strips your face of its moisture because it's doing such a great job cleaning it. But yeah, I'm just going to cut up my aloe vera, put it in a blender along with the honey and blend it up. Alright, so y'all already know what time it is. I'm going to tell you guys the benefits of using aloe vera and honey on your skin. So aloe vera contains antioxidants and vitamins A and C. It is highly anti-inflammatory, so if you have puffiness or just a bigger face in the morning, this is going to be very helpful for you. Also, it helps with dry skin and acne. And honey has similar benefits and also it is a humectant and it helps your face absorb moisture. So guys, as you can see, my face is looking so good right now. I'm going to be using my coconut oil. If you guys don't know, I love coconut oil so much. By the way, every single thing that I've used in this video will be linked in the description box down below. So if you're interested, go check it out. But that would be the last thing I'm going to do today for my skin, y'all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, Fool Out. Love you. Thank mm -hmm. you.